Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael, and in this video, I'll be telling you why you should upgrade to Apple's latest release, iOS 15.4.1. It introduces a major security enhancement that puts pretty much every iOS device at risk. So in this video, I'll be covering why you should upgrade to iOS 15.4.1 as soon as you possibly can. So if you're sitting there saying, wait a minute, Michael, I just upgraded my iPhone. Well, you're right. Apple did just release iOS 15.4, which was a huge feature release. It allows you to unlock a Face ID supported iPhone when wearing a mask. It allows a, a whole new voice for Siri to be used on the iPhone. Some other features include scanning text and inputting it pretty much anywhere in the operating system. Uh, you can add notes to your iCloud keychain passwords. And there are a few other changes like having a digital driver's license in a very few amount of states and also very small tweaks like the music app and there is a new widget for the apple card for users in the states however in my opinion the upgrade to ios 15.4.1 even though it doesn't introduce any new features is probably more important than anything released in ios 15.4 so why is this? Well, iOS 15.4 fixes a vulnerability which could allow an application to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And if it sounded like I read that off a script, well, it's because I did. I honestly have no idea what that means, but in Apple's release notes for iOS 15.4.1, they say that this could be, quote, actively exploited. It's what they call a day zero exploit. So this is a huge security risk and Apple usually doesn't uh, tell most iPhone users to upgrade on day one of this release. They usually let people navigate to settings, software update, and check themselves. And then after a few weeks go by, then they start telling people to upgrade. However, I'm recommending that everyone go into settings, go in a software update and update immediately because this is a major security update and honestly something I wouldn't expect out of Apple who has very high security standards. So based on some other research I did on this security exploit, it seems like this is the most dangerous type of vulnerability in iOS. So this could be very dangerous if the wrong person gets their hands on your iPhone. Uh, they could potentially get access to the data on your iPhone using this exploit. And this is kind of an issue because Apple hasn't really been uh, looking very good for security and privacy recently as they actually released a whole bunch of private information to what they thought was law enforcement, but it was actually a bunch of hackers. So all of this in the span of a month really isn't looking good for Apple. So I definitely recommend upgrading to iOS 15.4.1 so you can have all of your data private and secure on your iPhone. However, that is not all that's new in iOS 15.4.1. Another bug fix that Apple said is present in this update is a fix for the battery drain issue. So if you are a user of social media, which you probably are, you probably saw Twitter freaking out a lot about after upgrading to iOS 15.4, just how bad the battery life was. Now, personally, I didn't really experience this, but I heard of a lot of people that were complaining about brutal battery drain after updating. So hopefully iOS 15.4.1 can fix that brutal battery drain problem. And there are also some accessibility updates to iOS 15.4.1. Uh, one of them is an update to MFI hearing devices or made for iPhone hearing devices. So if you have an MFI certified hearing aid, if you upgrade it to iOS 15.4, the connection may not have been as strong. It may be a little bit weaker at points. So iOS 15.4.1 should help the connection with hearing aids uh, for users that need that. So even though this software update isn't as fancy and flashy and packed with features as iOS 15.4 was, we really can see that even Apple, the biggest company that prides themselves on uh, you know, security and privacy and your data is yours, that can even happen to a trillion dollar company. So uh, while those big updates are fun, they can introduce some huge security flaws uh, like we saw with iOS 15.4. So like I said, I'd recommend upgrading to 15.4.1 as soon as you can. The update is also available on Apple Watch and iPadOS devices as well. So if you made it to this point in the video, I want you to comment down below if you were having that awful battery drain issue with iOS 15.4. Uh, if you were, I'm sorry, that must really suck. And hopefully this update 15.4.1 can help that and you can get your battery life back to normal. So hopefully this video was a little bit helpful. If it was, please drop a like on it. I really appreciate it. My name is Michael. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.